Hello and welcome my friends, it's time for another let's play, and this time it's the Blade Runner game. Man, I lose to love this game back then, and it's now available on good old games, and also a remaster is in the making, so let's tackle this. And I love how the title just pops up, it's no fancy animation, just the title, and we get going. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase, a being virtually identical to a human, known as a replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility, and at least equal in intelligence, to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny by a Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Special police squads, Blade Runner units, had orders to shoot to kill upon detection any trespassing replicant. This was not called execution, this was called retirement. I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Renser, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guza was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. 
Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden's sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Yeah, after these great cutscenes in the beginning, we're ready to get into the game. And I will be silent most of the time. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. And I think the voice actors did a really great job Want something? here. Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even, quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? My precious one. She was my baby. Did you ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. 
I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. I'm ruined! Totally ruined! See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyan's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. So in this playthrough we're gonna play this game as a real Blade Runner. This means whenever we see a replicant, we're also gonna kill it. So we'll be a kind of by the book guy. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. My precious one. She was my baby. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. I'm ruined. So now totally the only thing ruined. that is left to do in this scene here is to check out Lucy's working place. Hmm. A toy dog. Howie Lee's, in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. A candy bar. Yuck. So, overall, I really like this first crime scene here. And it's pretty much linear, you can't do much stuff differently here. And now we will be heading to the police station to check for clues. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Yeah, and overall I think they did a really good job here in the game to kind of remodel all the scenes from the movie. And in any case I think this game aged pretty well. Alright, the first thing we're gonna be doing is we'll go to the lab. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. 
State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> you're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Uh, these perps didn't seem to be careful in what they were doing, and so left many clues there. Main frame and shooting range. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Yeah, and it's quite interesting, this news message here changes any time randomly when you enter this hall here. Old copies of case files, notices and memos. The usual station junk. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy! Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was gonna requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip and lit a match. <laughs> I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. Alright, and here we could also go to the shooting range and maybe give it a go to beat the high score of steel. But we're not gonna do that here, and maybe another time, or I will make a separate video, who knows. And instead, we will analyze now the video Scanning footage. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. And this is such a nice uh, Blade Runner feature, which has also been in the film. And you can enhance an image and make a uh, 3D scan of the image and all uh, what's happening in there which is quite, quite awesome. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. On the other hand, it's so funny that they're still using hard copies. It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. And these are all the clues we got in this picture. So let's head to the next. Run sitter crime scene. And I'll be damned if in this picture we won't get any clues about the perpetrators. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Hmm. Muddy boots. Guess he's from out of town. Give me a hard copy of that.
Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. And now we can upload our clues to the mainframe and in turn also get information of other detectives. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. And now we got multiple clues on how we lease in Chinatown, so that's where we'll head next. So with a double click McCoy runs to its target where he clicked on, but I usually like to uh, walk slowly to enjoy the atmosphere. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. All right, first we'll talk to this guy here. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. You're a pretty smart-looking cat. Got to mix more out back. You want to make some money? Pay me large. You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. All right, this comedian here isn't any help, so let's ask the owner, how he lead. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. This girl ever eat around here? Nah, all Gaijin look like the old man. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chops that come from Yoshi's restaurant supplies. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do highway favor? Distribute all through our police station? How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just months. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. So, this new chef is new in town, right? So, uh, and one of the witnesses told the police officer that Lucy was hanging out with a big fat guy. Could it be this one? Anyway, let's, uh, you know, talk to him. Hmm, cozy. Howie says you're a master chef. Do not come back here! Air bad! This will only take a minute. You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know, and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, huh? Alright, here we really have to be quick. Otherwise you kind of slip out on the soup. And this costs uh, important seconds in the chase of this guy here. And this here is interesting, you could either like kill this guy here, this homeless guy, or you even ask him where this guy went, um, but we kind of decide to just keep up the chase.
All right, we can now decide if we kill this guy or let him go, right? So, but we're the real Blade Runner. So let's kill this guy. I mean, see in a moment that we made the right call. He is a replicant. Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. I'd retired a war hero, someone who'd fought for the freedom of the off-world colonists. The poor guy kind of reminded me of one of those buffalo soldiers, blacks who had killed and died for America, yet weren't allowed to drink alongside whites. And maybe, just maybe, the photograph validated his own existence. I've gotten all I can from that. Kill it, man! Just took a wrong turn back there, that's all. Take your business elsewhere. An excellent idea. Now, what is this guy doing here anyway? But I guess we will meet again. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. We just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. I checked with you and Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. All right, there we have a connection with our perps, right? They also are responsible for the moon bus massacre. So, we will head back to the police station and check in with Guza and afterwards I guess we will uh, look at the Kaya database and check for a connection between our perps. And man, I can't get enough of, the, of this scenery here. I just love Chinatown here in this game. Anyway, let's get into the spinner again and head for the police station. There it goes. For some commercials in between. And drive back. Fly back. And back into the elevator. Right, it was the second floor. Let's head down. Main frame and shooting range. Into the Esper room. Now let's download the Kaya database. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. And now let's have a look at what we find here. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. 
the replicants are living organisms whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh no. Recording off. Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? Well, we have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe you. All right, could this be a connection to our case? And who is this Izo guy? Anyway, uh, the Spencer Gregorian guy is uh, still on lockup, and so lock up. let's question him. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I didn't know the Rastafarian. The Asian fellow was one of our ex-members. Izo was his name. How long did you know him for? Let's see. I met him about five years ago. He seemed so smart and balanced. He really wanted to help the replicant people. Then what? He started associating with the more militant factions. I was astounded when I heard he was supplying weapons to some of them. What kind of weapons? Guns so new that even the police had hardly used them, I heard. I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, Humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective, she already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh, look, I gotta check out the equipment and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care. Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him, so sit down. So let's VK this guy. And these questions actually are nice for breaking the ice. Reaction so time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Are you taking any drugs? No. How does your machine work? Is it a lie detector? Not exactly. Your verbal responses aren't what's important. Why? You got something to hide, Spencer? Absolutely not. Well, that's a yes. You're watching TV. Suddenly you notice a wasp 
crawling on your wrist. A wasp. That's an insect, isn't it? Yeah, it stings. Well then, I'd have to be careful. I'd stay still until it flew away. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. Appropriate. For a killer. Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd call the school. You're in a desert walking along in the sand. When all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. I wouldn't do that. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. But it can't. Not without your help. But you're not helping. Why is that? You bastard. They're just... I want to see my attorney. Now. When I'm done. Maybe. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. That's illegal, isn't it? I'd mention it to the secretary. You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. I'd call the police. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. Are you trying to make me sick? You've been drafted into the army. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. Hazing's illegal. Oh yeah, you're really worried about breaking the law. Wonder why I'm the one on this side of the bars. Civil disobedience has a long history in our world. So does genocide, but I ain't out butchering my neighbors. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I'd leave. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. All right, I guess Steel was right. This guy is human. So let's report into Guza. Ground floor. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you work their retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinyan. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Shouldn't take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something, something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. All right, good talk. All right, so we got the rest of the day off. That's nice. So, let's head back home. Roof.
your floor number, please? Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Maggie, come here, girl. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. So let's head back or out to the balcony and enjoy the view. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the threes, fours, and fives I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these sixes, they were a whole other breed. And I guess it's time to get some sleep. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real company. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Please, can you control your rats? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only simulator. Extra terrestrial gravity. <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. Oh, no, no, no. You one miserable package man. No. No, please don't. So, this means we have a new crime scene. So, this is the first act. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you in the next part. Bye bye.